fight your way back into a ball game like this and then to lose it that way. Talk, give us your talk, thoughts on what the intent was at the end of the ball game in that inbounds. Hey, to get foul, you know, get the ball inbounds. We had our free throw shooters uh, in the game, and uh, we knew that they probably would trap one time before they fouled, and uh, they did. Corey got it out, and, uh, you know, Bojan, Bojan you know, th you know, Threw a lob pass that uh, you know, just was in the air for a long time, allowed uh, Rozier to uh, run under underneath. But you, know, you just got you got to execute. You know, we we talked about this uh, at the beginning of the game against a group like this, very physical team. Uh, you know, number one defensive team in the league, and uh, you got to use each other. You got to set screens and be strong with the ball. Uh, it really took us through the second half to. Uh, you know, play against that defense, and uh, you know it's a 48-minute game, and uh, you got to execute uh, all 48 minutes. We we just lost our composure. I thought in that uh, the last minute, you know, we uh, made free throws, and you know, guys got up and were we were pressing, and you know they wrote, ran right by us. Uh, keep the guys in front of you, you know. So just I mean some miscues down the stretch that uh, that cost us that game. Hey, what do you tell your team after a game like that? We stay together. You know, you don't point fingers. Um, you know, this is hard. It's hard to uh, to take. Uh, uh, but you you, you got you're going to have to move on. Uh, but you stay together, and um, you know we can't. You know we got to figure out a way to to get off to better starts. I thought, uh, you know, once again, we, you know, we came out and they punched us uh, in the mouth right from the start and just dug ourselves a hole. And, you know, a, a good team like this, you got to be solid. You can't uh, allow yourself to get into holes like that and fight your way out and expect to, uh, you know, to win those games. We was able to do that, but, I mean, I, mean, I, I don't know how many uh, – of those possessions in the first quarter that they scored on, but it seemed like they scored every possession in that first quarter. Yeah, they hit their first 10 shots. Um, you mentioned screening earlier. It seemed like they were getting a lot more out of their screens than you were, at least for the first half or three quarters of the game. Is that something you guys need to improve on, just screening to get guys open? Well, they're the number one defensive team in the league, you know, so they do a good job of getting through screens. And, and uh, you know, I thought we – you know, uh, tried to get hits. You know, they, they at times flop. You know, we got called for some illegal screens. Um, but, you know, that's part of what you have to do every night, But especially against a group like this. You've got to uh, work together. And, you know, it's like a marriage uh, when you uh, those two guys are involved in a, a screen, whether it's a pin down or a pick and roll. Uh, the guard has to slow up and allow that big to get set. And then the guard has to run him off, you know. So the big, so the two got to be connected in situations like that. Uh, I thought we started to get some screens and was able to attack and score, and you know we fought our way back into uh, uh, this game. Almost lost now because of the way it finished was Oladipo's 38-point game, and he carried you once again down the stretch. Is it as simple as we're going to give him the ball and let him make something happen? Well, you're going to put the ball in the hands of your best player, you know, no different than what they did with Kyrie. You know, you're going to look to give, put the ball in the hands of a guy that uh, is showing that he can make plays, whether he is uh, scoring the ball, getting to the basket, or making the pass. And, uh, you know, Victor is slowly showing that, you know, he wants the ball in his hands and he deserves the ball in his hands. So, yeah, we're going to um, – uh, you know, put him with a combination that works tonight. Domas uh, was doing a pretty good job of defending and screening and running the, the, pin, the pick and roll action with our guards. So we end up finishing with them. Irving had those two three pointers in the final 30 seconds. Uh, did you feel like you had done all you could defensively? Just kind of tip your hat in those cases. I mean, you know, I got to, you got, I got to. Look at the tape. He came down off of a pin down. You know, it was a lot of time on that clock, uh, you know, uh, where they 
Uh, we ended up getting caught on a switch. Doma switched on him uh, and was caught out uh, behind the three in the corner. You know, in that situation, you want to crowd him, make him go to the basket, but it's a lot of time, you know, quick two or quick three. Uh, you try to contain him and make him shoot over the top. He nails a three. And then he comes off of a pin down. Um, with the five and a three and, and nails a three. Uh, you know, he, hey, you got to make plays. And they made the plays tonight to uh, to win the game. Nate, why, why do you think uh, Miles was so quiet tonight? I think he had uh, two points. Well, it, uh, I think what they, they, what they did was they were switching. They put uh, Horford on him, and basically they switched pick and rolls uh, tonight. And, you know, so he didn't have the pop the pick and pop that he normally gets, you know, and on when we went to him into the uh, in the post up, uh, they double teamed him, you know. And it's gonna be nice like that, where you know teams they do some things to try to take take something out, and uh, you know tonight, you know we wanted to keep the five man in the pick and rolls, and the five man was guarding Thad and Domas, you know, so. Miles is, is, is playing a lot of spread uh, in situations like that. Loss, tough, tough loss. I mean, we got to have a better start. Uh, just a crazy game, man. Um, dug ourselves in the deepest hole you can imagine. And again, fought our way back like clockwork and came up short again, you know what I mean? And a um, few games before we came out on a winning end, um, tonight, uh, not so much, obviously, so it's a tough loss. Uh, we did some good things, <coughs> some not so good things, but uh, we just got to continue to keep getting better, man. It might be cliche, it might sound old-fashioned, but it's true. Uh, we can learn a lot from that game. We can learn a lot from every, <coughs> every game we play, and we win or lose, and we need to continue to keep learning and improving. This is a tough loss, yes, uh, but... Um, it's 82 games for a reason, um, and we play in, what, 48 hours? So um, we got to just correct it and get better, man. I mean, um, we got another team to face on the road in their building on Wednesday, um, and we got to be ready to play. Can a game like this be fuel for Wednesday night going forward? Oh, definitely. We gave ourselves a chance to win, and we competed with the best team in, in the Eastern Conference. We gave ourselves a chance to win, so uh, we can be we can be that good. Just gotta continue to keep getting better. So now we got another one coming up. And we put one behind us. It's obviously a tough one, but um, you know, just take it and learn from it. Are there lessons that you guys can take from those final moments, or is it simply execution? Plenty. There's plenty of lessons we could take. Um, you know, we should never got to that point, but you gotta learn from it. Yeah. Coming back in a game where you guys were down 17 points in the first quarter, there's plenty of positives in that too. What did you like in the comeback? Um, just the same thing we've shown all season, our resilience and uh, just you know, our willing to fight and our grit. It was a tough game. Uh, we got to just look over film and see the stuff that we did wrong. And, I f and uh, we all made mistakes. It wasn't just one person. And uh, down the clutch moments, uh, we all got to stay together and stay focused and get that, get that win. But, on to the next, we watch film, see what we did wrong, and get a, get a win in Atlanta. I mean, we all make mistakes. Uh, I felt like throughout the stretch, even I made a mistake by um, pulling up on uh, Marcus, uh, Marcus Smart and got an easy, not an easy layup, but a layup that we didn't need him to get. And uh, I felt like I, I pressed for no reason. And um, I mean, just down the stretch, we just got to stay focused and just be smart. I just told him, keep your head up, man. And, uh, we all made mistakes, and uh, we're going to move forward. He's been playing great all, all season. We can't judge him off of this one mistake. And um, We need him, so we just got to watch what we did wrong. Uh, not just him. It was all of us, and uh, just move on.